honoring Native American heritage at graduation. Tonight, a lawmaker says his common sense bill would allow it to happen at schools across the state. News Force Caitlin Ogle joins us now with these details. Caitlin. Well, the authors say they believe this is already what most schools do. They just want to make sure it's law and on the books. But bills similar to this have failed in the past. We want to continue to keep giving it a shot, right? make sure these kids have the opportunity to do this. I think it's pretty common sense, and uh, so I always advocate for common sense legislation. Representative Trey Caldwell and Senator John Michael Montgomery say they have many Native Americans in their Lawton districts. They wrote Senate Bill 429, which would stop schools from banning students from wearing Native American regalia during graduation and school functions. Similar bills failed in 2020 and 2021. The lawmakers say that's because some worried it would lead to dress code exemptions. In 2019, a school district in Ada made national headlines after a senior and a member of five different tribes was told it would be against dress code if he wore his Chickasaw Nation honor cords while walking across the stage. Wearing the honor cord and wearing these things it has a whole different meaning. It's acknowledging that I'm the future leader and that this is the first step towards a higher education. Let's respect them uh, enough to allow them to, you know, wear it in a respectful way. Caldwell also says previous versions had to do with religious freedoms. I, I remember one time I presented in the committee on the House side, someone tried to uh, try to go down a slippery slope and say, well, what about satanic rituals or, uh, you know, stuff of that nature. Freedom of religion in this country is enshrined in our Constitution. They say this bill is specifically tailored to schools. I, I, I personally think it's already law, but it's just go ahead and enshrine that. And the bill made it out of the Senate committee Tuesday with very little editing and no pushback. Now, if it passes, it'll go into effect July 1st.